people are, are kind of um, griping a bit. <laughs> uh -oh. There's no, like an A380 or an A320. Oh. <laughs> uh, a number of people have brought that up. And they then one guy, Ricardo, says, um, you know, you have an MD80 in here and it's not even, you know, it's out of production, but you don't have, you know, the A380 and the A320. Wait, I thought the A380 was out of production. Is it? Then the A380, Google that, will you? Is A380 out of production? I thought it was. Um, That's the big one, right? Yeah, but I'm pretty sure they stopped. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure they stopped making them. Or they're what about they to. What do they make now? What's their big one? Um, you know? Yeah, 350? the 350 is, is the next big thing. But, um, okay. So, we did the MD80 because a guy named Sergio Santagata. Uh, made this airplane years ago, literally years ago, and he did this incredible detailed uh, job of this model, but he didn't quite finish it so he could bring it to market. Well, when we were deciding on the suite of aircraft for X-Plane 11, we had this MD-80 with all this intricate detail and beauty and art and, and complexity and just needed a little bit of finish up to roll it into position. Well, so of course we finished it. Right? We were 99% there. We're putting in that last 1% to get it out. Um, the 737 that we have, Alex Unruh, before he started working for us, he uh, did the 737 uh, on his own. And then when we hired him, he was like, you know, I got a 737. It's about ready to go. And you're like, well, pff, finish the job. And so we have a 737 and MD-80, not because there's some sort of like anti-Airbus thing going on. No, we have those airplanes just because we had them about ready to ship. So we finish up the job. Um, now that said, uh, I think it would be pretty darn cool to have an A380 because it would just be cool to be in the biggest darn airplane in the world, you know? Um, I have a feeling that flying an A380 is kind of like, almost like flying a hot air balloon or a blimp or a dirigible or something. You're just kind of gently, slowly floating around in the sky, um, gently and slowly changing from one flight regime to another. The thing that has so much mass, it's not going to change direction that quickly. And all these Airbuses have this uh, really bulletproof flight control system that pretty much stops you from messing up as long as the computers are all working right. Um, and if they're not, you can be screwed if you're not up to the challenge. But um, yeah, we, we, we probably will do an Airbus. Um, and in fact, I'm not going to name names yet because I haven't closed any deals on this, but I've got a professional flight training customer that wants me to do an A320 for them up to certification standards with X-Plane. And uh, I'm not going to mention names until we have a contract signed. But um, I've already started coding the A320 flight control system in X-Plane to certification standards and it's not there yet but it's in process and if you go to x-men 11.0 you open plane maker you go to the expert menu and then to the uh autopilot and artificial stability screen there's a checkbox you can check called airbus flight control system if you check that little box in plane maker then in x-plane all of the airbus flight control logic laws will exist. Now, this is not done yet. It's not certified yet. It's being built for certification, okay? So we're getting there in stages. But uh, all the bank angle limits, G load limits, airspeed limits, uh, pitch limits, all that stuff is simulated. And uh, you cannot go more than 67 degrees of bank, even holding the stick. If you release the stick, you can't be at more than 33 degrees of bank. Uh, it pulls up right before it'll overspeed. It'll nose nose over before it under speeds. So all the uh, Airbus flight control logic is coming in there. So yeah, we're gonna have an Airbus uh, in X-Plane someday, and we do, it ain't just gonna be for looks. It's gonna fly like the real thing to certified standards. So no, we don't have it, but we're dead serious about getting the, the flight control system in there correct. And when the flight control system is in there properly, and I do this A320 up to certified standards, we'll have an A320 that's freaking certified. And, uh, and then we'll have an artist come by and do the big, beautiful model, you know, so it looks just like the real thing. So we have, I think we've got an A320 in our future that's going to be absolutely mind-blowing in, in its, you know, uh, accuracy. And then once you've got that flight control system in there, then we could uh, maybe do an A380 just because it would be cool. But it's A320 is, is the one that this customer wants uh, certified. Yeah, a lot of people are saying they want the A320 as yeah. well. Well, that's what we're going to get first. So um, apparently.